What's up, you guys? Mm. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, welcome back to my channel. So, mm. so, I'm trying to bust these videos out for you guys. I'm trying to bust them out for you guys. So, the video that I'm doing today is a business video. Is Anybody who's thinking about starting a business but don't really have anything in mind, like, you know, this, these are business ideas. Like, I mean, these are not, you know, the only ones out there. There are other ones, but <clears throat> these are businesses that i really been looking into that I'm interested in. So, I just thought I'd share them with you guys. Oh, yeah. And... Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a post up of a... I would like you guys to give me some questions that you guys would like me to answer in a Q&A that I'm going to be doing soon. So, I have a few questions. I would like to get a few more. Don't come with the dumb questions. I will not answer them. I will just block you. So... Let's get started. All right. The main one that I've been interested in is a lip gloss business. Yeah. I love my lip gloss. Like, and I'm just like, if I could just make it myself. And not have to buy for nobody else. Because you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I start a lip gloss business... And it, it don't get nowhere. Like, I wear lip gloss, so my daughters wear lip gloss. Like, my family wear lip gloss, so it'll just be like, you know what I'm saying? Really not wasting money. You know, it could be gifts that I get in my family or whatever. So, yeah. That's business idea number one. Number two, wigs. I think since I've been doing YouTube, I've only worn a wig maybe once. Maybe. Then again, I don't even know if I even wore it on camera. I'm, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I had to look back. But, yeah, like, hair, like, you know, wigs, all this stuff. Like, you know, that stuff sells. Like, right now, like, if I take these braids out, I want to get me a wig because, you know, as y'all know, I cut my hair when I was pregnant. So, I'm not pregnant no more, and I like to have my long hair. So, yeah number three I, I, eyelash um business i don't really wear eyelashes like that but a lot of females wear eyelashes and i'm thinking about getting into it and i had um you know i had a company uh message me about some eyelashes um uh, and i honestly i still ain't even tried them on nothing like they didn't pay me to do a review on them anything um they just sent them to me and i just they're magnetic lashes and i just still ain't done them um, so i'm just debating like if i'm even gonna um try them on or just give them to my aunt because like i said i don't really do eyelashes but a lot of people do eyelashes a lot of people wear eyelashes so that's um a good business to do um, number four, sunglasses. Y'all know summertime is coming. And we gotta have our sunglasses. We gotta look cute. You know, we gotta be cute. I'm definitely gonna give you some. I'm gonna get my kids some. Yes, yeah, so. Number five, YouTube. Yo, so many people have talked about, um, People that do YouTube, moms, dads, people without children, people that do, do YouTube, period. And now that a lot of people are out of work, I know they're wishing like they would have started YouTube. Like, come on now, you make money to sit at home and do videos. Like, people just watch you. You know what I'm saying? You make money to do that. Like, I mean, it takes time to grow on YouTube, but if you get a video that goes viral and just gets you to where you need to be to start getting monetized, Y'all, like, just a little bit of extra money. It helps. Okay, number six, pocketbooks. 
purses, you know, I don't know, everybody call them something different. Uh, handbags, all that type of stuff. Yeah. Those sell. Along with selling those, you can sell like um, baby bags. Because as y'all know, with the coronavirus, a lot of people come up out of here pregnant. I done already got like three phone calls of people pregnant already. So, sell some baby bags. Some I, as y'all know, I wear a book bag, um, a book bag, baby bag. So, you know, it be used as a purse, pocketbook, whatever, book bag, or, um, a baby bag, all that stuff. So, yeah. Y'all, come on now. Get some of these things popping. Get this money. Because I'm telling you, these, uh, the, pop, the uh, book, baby bags is mainly what people need right now. Okay. Clothing line, uh, merch. I got a stuff like when you do YouTube, you can sell merch. You don't, I don't, matter of fact, you don't even gotta do YouTube to sell merch. Like, you could just start a website, you know, design for, you know, clothes and just, you know, sell it. Hand out business cards, you know, promote yourself and sell it. Like, um, another thing that I've recently, you know, I've spent so much money lately on planners planners i got so many planners like this is only this is like two of them that i have y'all we're trying to budget plan out my days the kids you know being homeschooled trying to plan out you know our homeschool hours appointments like everything Yo, these planners come in handy. I'm telling y'all, a lot of people selling them on Etsy and all this stuff. You know, people making money from doing this. Like, and if you go through YouTube and you look up a lot of these things, like just type in which one that you're interested in. There's a whole lot of videos that'll show you guys how to get started, what you need. Um, just like a whole thing. Like I even, I even went to Pinterest. It's like a, it's an app on my phone that I went to, and I was able to print this out. You guys, and it, I mean, it just gave you a list of everything that you need to do to get started. And I know a lot of people might be like, well, I don't got the money. But, I mean, if you got, like, a little bit, a little, you know, a little bit that you can just put into a business, start a business, you know, get the business off the ground, you got to spend money to make money. Like, that's even if you go to, like, if you go work at McDonald's, Walmart, like, you have to spend money on your uniform because... Well, Walmart. I believe when I worked at Walmart, I had to get pants. And they gave me a shirt. I had to buy shoes. When you work, when I worked at McDonald's, I had to buy shoes. They gave me the uh, rest of my uniform. Like, a lot of jobs, you got to put money in somehow, some way, in order for you to make it. Like... YouTube, like I know, I know it's a lot of people that's trying to get into YouTube, and you know, y'all going to uh, to people and y'all want to get shout outs and stuff like that. I mean, I haven't when I was doing uh the um shout outs, you know, I was doing it for free or whatever. Nobody asked me, you know, to do it for free. I was just doing it for free. I mean, they asked me how much I charge. And, you know, I was just doing it for free. But there's a lot of YouTubers, bigger YouTubers that, you know, charge you to do shout outs. And as long as it's not, like, mad, like, real, 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 real expensive, like, do it, guys. Like, get yourself out there. Like, uh, Olivia from Liz Life. Baby boy, I was waiting time doing something. It's cool. 
by the time I'm finna wake up for a bottle. So, I'm gonna let me get this video done. But, um, Olivia's from Liv's Live. She did a shout out, um, on her channel, uh, about my channel. And that's how I got as many subscribers as I, that I got. Because I only had, like, I think when she did the shout out, I had, like, a hundred some subscribers, I believe. Probably a little more. I know I wasn't over, like, 250. I know I wasn't over that. But I think I was only in the hundreds. And she did a shout out for me. And... You guys, I'm about to hit 5,000. I could have been hit 5,000 if I would have stayed consistent. But I just, the my pregnancy slowed me down. But I'm getting back to it. And I'm about to hit, I'm only 100 away from hitting um 5,000. So, yeah. So, but... She didn't charge me for that shout out because I did a video that she liked and, you know, so she gave me a shout out. And there's a lot of YouTubers that'll do that. Like, you do a video that they like, they'll just go ahead and give a shout out without charging you. But if, they, if you get charged for a shout out, you guys, like, like I said, as long as it's not like a high price, do it because it really do, it really will help your channel. Even if you, even if you don't do YouTube and you want somebody to like shout your, um, your business out on a channel, like, like if you start a lip gloss business, eyelash business, wig bit, like if you start any of that, like if you want them to do a shout out, like pay the money, it's going to help you. It's going to help you in the end, believe me. Especially if they got a big following, like followers, like it's going to help. So, all right. I hope you guys like this. I just wanted to give you guys a couple ideas because I was just like, I, I be seeing like, yo, I want to start a business, but I'm trying to figure out like what I really want to do, what really interests me, what, what's really not going to cost like a lot, a lot of money because I, you know, I don't, don't have it like that, but you know, um, everybody started to get them stimulus checks and all that stuff. And, you know, if you're still working and, you know, the stimulus checks is like extra money for you, like put it into a business so you don't have to be working under nobody else for long. Like you can be working for yourself. So, all right, guys. So I got to go feed baby boy. And I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And again, go follow me on Instagram. Shoot me some questions so I can do a Q&A. If the questions are stupid or about my children, I will not do them and you will get blocked. Alright, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.